Hey guys. guys, it's Vanessa and Veronica and today we're doing a video kind of about COVID-19 and how we've been on lockdown dealing I guess. with this yeah. <laughs> dealing with it so so we wanted to share a few tips as well and what we've been doing and then we've been at home I think now for two weeks yeah um yeah so we obviously comment down below <laughs> which part of the world you are on the lockdown yeah Obviously, you can hear by our accents that we are in the UK. We're in, the UK. We're in London right now. So, well, I've been off of school, so that's been a bit odd because it's kind of like I'm being homeschooled now. I mean, for everybody, yeah. I guess. That's obviously different for parents as well because they're like now, I guess, homeschooling their kids in a way. Yeah. So, no, what's, what's your um, perspective on the situation? <laughs> perspective. <laughs> I mean, it's the same for me. Like, obviously, I work with kids, and um, I haven't been able to go to work. So it's, um, you know, it's it's strange in a way. It's only been two weeks. I know some people have been on the lockdown for a month or two. So it's for us, it's just a beginning kind of thing. Yeah. But um, but in a way, it doesn't feel like two weeks. It just doesn't feel that long because we've been really busy. Vanessa had a lot of work for you know for school, and. Um, yeah, and then she's been doing a lot of filming, editing, you know, I've been doing some editing and then that's why we decided to do a vlog, of what, to do this video for you guys. Yeah. So you can see kind of how you can deal with it and cope with it and not feeling down and stressed and, you know, right, things like that. So we wanted to share with you some of the things that we've been doing to kind of take up some time. I mean, we've pretty much been busy, so there hasn't really been a day where we're like bored or there's nothing for us to really do apart from we want to take a day off, I guess. So um, we've been doing quite a lot of reading. Well, uh, to me, for me, I haven't really done much reading. <laughs> I've done a bit more reading than, yeah. I, than I did before, which is, I guess, a good, a positive thing. I've what got a pile, of, yeah, I've got a pile of books um, that I haven't really, like, started to even, you know, read. So what are some things that you've been doing for me? <laughs> <laughs> so what I've been doing, I've been basically cleaning, you know, things that I haven't had time to do or when I was putting the things off. Um, and that's what you should be doing because if you think that you have nothing else to do you want to binge watch Netflix that's fine because we have the time but now it's also the time where you can do exactly yeah. you can do the things that you always you know complained about that you can't do because you're at work because you don't have time you need to wait till the weekend now for me we have like all the, the time in yeah, the world <laughs> now the time for me when I wake up I'm like what day is it? Is it Saturday? Because it feels like a weekend every day. So as you can see the weather is really nice today and we've actually been going on daily walks as well which is what we're doing right now while we're filming this video. So I guess just kind of make sure that you kind of get the chance to go out. I mean we're still allowed to do one form of exercise once a day. So you can go for a walk, go and exercise in the park. Obviously not for like the whole day but to still be aware of other people and their safety. But we've been going on daily walks so that's kind of been keeping us sane get, yeah. getting us fresh air clear our minds especially as well. especially if people don't have gardens and if you live in a flat and then you've in a closed area if you drive you know go and drive somewhere to the woods if you have children you know go and drive to the woods and let them run around for an hour you know it's good even for you it's going to be good because even though Vanessa sometimes doesn't want to go for this walk you know I always say to her let's go because it's you know it's good for us and the weather is nice you can film her TikToks so I've been like organizing my room today as well so I guess whatever you can do to be productive not just to do that's not really going to help yourself so we've become like preparing for content and things like that. So not only is that helping other people, I guess, when we make content, we're just doing something productive, I would say. So anything that you can do, maybe organizing something, even organizing your schedule, I've been doing that a lot recently, just to make sure that I'm not getting overwhelmed by like the heaps of work that I get from my school. Because if I'm being honest, it kind of feels like we're getting more work than we do that we usually go to normal school. But I mean, if you just kind of go for it step by step, then it will get better. But I would say that like every single day you get more used to it, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose that's why I was saying that it doesn't feel like we've been indoors for two weeks now. And also for those parents who maybe are watching this video as well, because a lot of people never had children who are homeschooled. Like I never had a Mr. Vanessa homeschooled before, even though a lot of people are asking about that. But it's just about being um, being organized. And you know, like the school starts nine till three. So we said we're gonna set up the time, you know, nine till three. <laughs> Sorry. 
and uh, it's just about being organized. We're always talking about, about being organized. I think for anyone, if you want your day to be productive and you want, you don't want to go crazy, you know, thinking that you haven't done anything or you haven't done enough. So it's just, so we set up, the school starts obviously at nine till three. So that's what we were starting to do. You know, so for Vanessa as well, she doesn't sit on the computer till five o'clock, six o'clock in the evening doing her schoolwork. So she has time to relax and, you know, get her mind off things as well. Okay. <sighs> I mean, pretty much overall, we're just trying to say, like, make the, mo make the most out of your day. <laughs> I mean, overall, we're just basically trying to say, make the most out of your day. I mean, time is so important. And I mean, before like COVID-19 and the whole lockdown situation in several countries, it's like we were all so busy with our day-to-day -day lives and now we just kind of have to live with ourselves properly and not be distracted by different things. So make the most out of your day, use your time wisely. Don't do something that's not going to be productive, or that's not going to help you. So we wanted to leave you with the message to the time is now, the time is present. We're never going to get this time back because, you know, if this is over in four months time, five months time, we will go back to normal. We will go back to normal and complaining about you know day-to-day -day lives that we don't have time and this is gonna be a only a memory. Now at the end of this video, I hope we kind of gave you guys an insight on what you can do and kind of like our own perspective and how it's been going for us as a little update, I guess, because we know we haven't been the most active um, by the past year. Well, six six months <laughs> um, but don't forget to like this video and subscribe and don't forget to make, make every day count. count and we'll see you guys on the next video bye, bye. I, need, I, need I don't know what to say <laughs> okay <laughs> stop it get some help so enjoy the <laughs> but um yeah, what about, what do you, <laughs> and then you cut it off. It's a bit windy, but beautiful sunny skies, and we always, you know, we've been told, and even the weather's going to be better, weather, blah. <laughs> we've even been told it's better weather. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, it's together, okay.